Hey guys, so I just got back from another one of my two week Aldi shopping hauls. So I thought I would share what I got with you again um, for showing you our meal plan for the next two weeks and how much I spent on groceries at Aldi's. And then I'll start by showing you um, non-food items and then food items, okay? Okay, so as you can see, this week's meal plan and next week's meal plan is a little bit messy. Actually, that's the following week. Um, because I changed my mind a lot. <laughs> um, so for breakfast this week, we are going to do some zucchini chai muffins and yogurt. I had some zucchini left in the fridge from last week that I hadn't used, so I thought I'd make those muffins and give the boys that and yogurt. Um, and then today we didn't have anything because I did my Aldi shopping on Monday and Dean had the boys at piano, so we all ate out. Um, tomorrow we're gonna do a roast chicken and vegetables. And then on Wednesday, we're going to do a Mexican black bean soup with tortilla chips. On Thursday, we're gonna pu I pulled this from last week um, because we didn't eat it. Um, so we're gonna do beef stew and cornbread. And then this is the tikka masala chicken with rice and I'm gonna do steamed spinach. And then Saturday, we'll do salmon patties and asparagus. And then Sunday is our family kitchen and I'm supposed to bring 12 grilled cheese sandwiches because we're celebrating one of the cousin's birthdays and she wants soup and grilled cheese. So one of the things that I tried to do for this two week meal plan is shop my pantry and my freezer first, um, reuse meals like this one that we didn't get to last week. Um, I had a bunch of vegetables and frozen vegetables like some spinach in the freezer and things like that that I wanted to kind of use up. So um, I didn't buy as much at all these for this two weeks as I normally do because I was trying to use what I already had. So for our second week, we are going to have peanut butter honey granola for the boys breakfast. And then on Monday, we will do a bacon baked fish with rice and um, Brussels sprouts. And this was something that I pulled from one of the previous weeks I didn't get to. Um, let's see, September 22nd is the first day of autumn. And so I thought it would be fun to do a crock pot turkey chili. Um, and we'll have saltine crackers with that. And then the following day, we will do a chicken noodle soup with saltines, and I'm gonna use the leftover chicken, um, the chicken carcass and make some homemade chicken broth, and that's what I'll put in my chicken noodle soup. Um, and then on Thursday, we are going to try a pesto pasta with provincial tomatoes. Um, I've never made this before, but it sounded really yummy and French to me, so I thought that sounds good, let's try that. Um, on Friday, we're gonna do chicken fajitas with rice and refried beans. This is also something I pulled from a previous week that we didn't get to. And then on Saturday, we'll do veggie stir fry. And then on Sunday, I'm not sure what the pitchin meal will be yet. So I don't know what I'm supposed to bring for that yet. So this is two weeks worth of um, like bulk breakfasts and meals where I just kind of um, used one cookbook I pick out my meals, I put them on this list, um, and then I also kind of look to see what I had in the freezer and the pantry. So at Aldi's, I spent $240.63, um, and that was on food and non-food items for two weeks, and I got a couple of things at Walmart. So I'm trying this toilet paper for the first time. I've never bought Aldi's toilet paper before, but I'm gonna try it and see what we think about it. Um, I had to stop at Walmart and get some coffee filters because I couldn't find any Aldi's. Um, Aldi's did have these really cute white mugs. Um, that one says, good morning. This one says, on Sundays we brunch. And then this one just says, drink up. And I love white mugs. And they were $2.99 each, so I thought I would get those. And then I got wine and some sparkling. Um, let's see, what are these? Yeah, like a sparkling rosé. And I think this one is... Uh, an extra dry sparkling something. Anyway, thought I would try these two things and wine. And then I got Dean this pack of beer. We have never, he's never had all these beer before. This stuff is supposed to be good. My, um, my brother-in-law likes it, but we will see if Dean likes it or not. Anyway, so those are the non-food items. Um, and I'll flip you guys around and show you what I got for food this week. Okay, so starting with fruits, I picked up apples and some pears. These were on Aldi's Super 6 this week. And then I got some bananas. And that was it for fruit. Um, for vegetables, I got some more onions, some mini potatoes for our roast chicken, um, some white button mushrooms, celery, carrots, 
I got some spring mix and lettuce for nachos and different things, tomatoes, and I think that was it for fresh vegetables. And then I got some applesauce for sandwiches and applesauce and little little treats for the boys. Um, I was running out of mayonnaise, so I bought two containers of mayonnaise. I bought some of this honey and peanut butter for the boys' granola breakfast for next week. We are out of our little mini chocolate chips and the kids like to have these for treats when they get their math problems right, so I need to pick some more of those up. Um, we are out of raisins, so I got some more raisins, jalapenos, um, two cans of refried beans for nachos this week. Last time I went to Aldi's, I picked up a can of this butter chicken sauce and then the tiki masala sauce, and I realized that one can is not going to be enough for us for a meal, so I went and got another can of each of them so that whenever I make this stuff, I'll have enough sauce. Um, the panko breadcrumbs, Aldi's did not have. I got this at Walmart, but I needed these for our meal this week. And then I got some liquid smoke because one, I think it's the turkey chili recipe called for liquid smoke. And I've never cooked with liquid smoke before, but Aldi's didn't have that and I couldn't find it there if they do have it. Um, so I got that at Walmart as well. And then for frozen vegetables, I got some veggie stir fry mix, a veggie mix, and I got another bag of asparagus spheres. I have one of these in the freezer, but we're going to have this um, one night, I think, with salmon patties, and I needed another one. Um, the only meats that I got this week were the chicken breast and the uncured ham. Um, the boys really like this for their sandwiches, and I like chicken and turkey. Um, so I got two of these for two weeks um, worth of sandwiches at lunch, um, and then I got this whole chicken. Um, this is what we'll have we bake our chicken. Um, and then for dairy, I got four containers of milk. Um, this will be for two weeks and we are doing the granola, the homemade granola cereal. So the boys will go through more milk than they normally do. And then I got four containers of yogurt. Um, so this week when the boys have their muffins, they can have some yogurt with that. I don't know if they'll eat all four of those, but I got them just in case. And then I picked up some blocks of cheese that I'll shred and I got a couple of um, packages of sliced cheese. We'll have these on our sandwich, but the majority of them is for the um, the grilled cheese sandwiches on Sunday. Um, I picked up some half and half because I was out and some sour cream. For the next two weeks, I got four packages of eggs and another package of butter. All right, and then over here, I got some saltines that we'll um, eat with our chili and our um, chicken noodle soup. And then I got six loaves of bread because I'm going to need two of them for the grilled cheese and then that leaves us with four for sandwiches and the boys for um, a little like breakfast if they wanna have some toast with their breakfast or something like that. Um, I was running low on still cut oats and the rolled oats for the granola, so I picked those things up. And then I got two bags of potato chips for sandwiches, and then I got four bags of these tortilla chips for nachos, and um, we'll have these with our black bean soup this week. So, let me back up so you guys can see for our all-day shopping haul for two weeks. So yeah, and this is not as much as I normally get, but like I said, I shopped my freezer and pantry, so I feel like I did pretty well. $240 and a good bit of non-food items this time. All right, so that is it for this two-week Aldi shopping haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what all we got and what we spent and my meal plan for the next two weeks. Um, if you have any questions or comments, definitely leave me a comment below and I will get back to you and I hope you guys have a good rest of your evening. Bye.